This is a rollover crash test. Crashes that end in rollovers are rare but often lethal, claiming 10,000 lives each year. And the majority of people who are killed in rollovers are ejected from the vehicle, and the vast majority of the people who are ejected are not wearing their seatbelts. This is the General Motors rollover crash test facility, the first one of its kind owned by an automaker. Having the facility makes GM the first automaker to integrate rollovers into the variety of crash tests it does in-house at its Milford, Michigan proving grounds. Here, engineers will conduct about 150 tests each year. The importance of this crash test site where we can do research into rollover is that we can generate the data necessary for us to understand rollover crashes. GM will test several types of rollovers at this facility, including the corkscrew ramp rollover seen here. They're also working on sensors for airbags that keep people from being ejected out of their vehicles. The major difference between a, a rollover enabled bag and just a side impact only bag is that a rollover bag stays inflated for up to five seconds, whereas a side impact bag inflates and deflates very, very quickly. There is a lot to learn about rollover crashes and the injuries that result from them. This facility and the work that is done here will go a long way toward helping to improve the understanding of injury mechanics and occupant protection. This facility will certainly help GM to better understand the dynamics of rollover crashes. For its part, GM says it will make rollover-enabled airbags standard on every one of its light trucks and SUVs by the 2009 model year and all of its retail vehicles by 2012. In Michigan, I'm Rose Tobias.